Hello and welcome to Megawatt News, I'm Katie Scott. In the headlines today, now you see it, now you don't. O2's online stock of the iPhone 3G runs out. European authorities agree proposals to stop illegal web downloads. Big plans afoot for the BBC iPlayer. Sony's PS3 firmware update finally arrives. And Wally the robot is arriving in the UK. Parents, be warned. No surprises here then, O2 has run out of its online iPhone 3G stock. There'll be loads of gutted punters out there after crashes on the O2 iPhone pre-order site left them frustrated and then, just hours later, the company admitted it stocks all out. O2 has sent out an email to the UK press stating it's seen unprecedented demand for the iPhone 3G, in fact far in excess of the original iPhone. It added, though O2 had invested several million pounds to increase the the order capacity of the site, with order processing capacity increased by over 250 times its normal rate. At times, the site still couldn't process the sheer weight of demand. O2 says details of when new supplies of the iPhone 3Gs will be available via its website. In separate news, both O2 and the Carphone Warehouse have admitted that they won't have any stock of the white iPhone 3G for Friday's launch, so it's back to black for fans. Despite concerns that they will curb internet freedom, measures have been pushed through by the EU that could see file sharing made punishable by law. The new proposals, which will be voted on in September, include making it law that internet users caught illegally downloading copyright material from the web, such as movies and music, are booted off the internet after three warnings. The proposals could also see European authorities given the power to dictate what software is used in web surfing. Digital rights groups in Europe have now formed a loose coalition to fight the amendments. They argue that the measures will create a Soviet internet and could see popular software applications like Skype or even Firefox declared illegal in Europe if they're not certified by administrative authority. But MEPs insist this is not their intention. MEP Malcolm Harbour told the BBC the amendments have nothing to do with copyright enforcement. The interpretation of them is alarmist and scaremongering and deflects from the intention which was to improve consumer rights. It's being reported that the BBC has yet more ambitious plans for its video-on-demand iPlayer service. It's already offering the iPlayer on the iPhone, but apparently the corporation is looking to expand to another platform, the Nokia N95. In addition, the Beeb has apparently revealed plans to make the service embeddable, which would mean users could put clips from the iPlayer on third-party websites, in particular social networking sites such as Facebook and Bebo. After the big fanfare surrounding the release of the PS3 firmware update version 2.40 last week, it all went a bit flat after Sony had to take it offline only days later. And there were a number of users reported that the XMB wouldn't display after the update was installed, and the update even froze some machines. Fast forward a week and the bods over at Sony must have been working away as they fixed the firmware. It's now version 2.41 and it's ready for download once again. The notice on the PlayStation blog concluded by saying, we want to extend our apologies to the PlayStation community for any inconvenience. Now we'll be looking forward to seeing everyone online and racking up those trophies. Disney has announced its first ever robotic products with the launch of a range of toys tying in with the Disney Pixar animated film WALL-E. Parents should prepare themselves for some serious pestering as it seems the company has left no stone unturned in its merchandise march on the UK. The U Command WALL-E is a remote control robot that can be programmed with thousands of different movement combinations and will cost £39.99. For 20 quid, you get the iDance WALL-E, which dances to any music source while the £29.99 interactive Wally and interactive Eve robots feature voice and light up functionality and can interact with each other. Then there's the BNL truck electronic playset, which recreates Wally's home from the movie, the magnetic constructor bots, and then a plethora of theme stuff to tempt kids to spend their pocket money. This includes interactive and activity books, a 2009 annual, bedroom sets, lunch bags, beauty products, tissues flashlights and a collection of apparel, accessories, bags and footwear. Poor parents, I don't envy you. 
Those were today's hottest headlines. Join us tomorrow for more news and views from the world of gadgets and technology. Thanks for watching.